Okay, we're out here at my squash. This is Yellow Summer I'm developing, and we're in the sixth generation. So the seed that comes out of this will be the seventh generation. And in fact, this squash right here has been pollinated and it contains that seed right at this moment. It's just not mature yet. Of all these F6 generation that are growing, this one is the most ideal because it is early. And that's the point of this video. I want to talk about selection and this one came up sooner it grew faster it put out a lot of squash it has all the characteristics i like i assume it'll taste good but i am saving this seed squash because of how early it is that's a trait that i want to carry to the next couple generations when it'll be an open pollinated version uh, earliness is a highly highly desired uh, quality to have in a variety. I mean, what does that mean? It means I get my stuff sooner. <laughs> it's less time growing. It's uh, if you have a shorter season, you can p potentially grow this type of squash where some of the squash mine I grows on. So today is the 17th of August, and these things were planted on the 11th of August, and you can see this squash right here is. The harvest size this is when you want to get them so we have a fruit that is ready to harvest and the and what I want to okay we're back at the squash now my battery died while well, I was in the middle of talking how about that uh, so yeah what I want to do is I want to record the days to maturity uh, the days to harvest and all that sort of thing and the reason why I'm doing that is to determine how early this particular version is now when you uh, figure out days to maturity and all of that I mean you take an average of the plant in the field and obviously this is an average this is a one-time uh, specimen that's above all the others and that's the reason why I'm making a selection now whenever I finish completely making this an open pollinated version then I grow out a lot and then I'll take an average of a bunch of the plants to figure out the actual days to maturity so that is the the purpose of this video is to figure out the days to maturity and it is part of my breeding work that i'm sharing with you okay it's a beautiful 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 plant it has pretty good uh powdery mildew resistance i've noticed uh it it has pretty good disease resistance i've noticed and it the most important thing is it tastes awesome and now you're seeing it's a little bit early so it's a great great squash and um, we're going to finish it off in a couple more grows. And then uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, this is Brent. I'll put up uh, the days to maturity and things like that right after this little bit of video. And um, this is my figure on what it is at this point. We'll see you later.